Hey, what's up everybody, this is Osama here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about some post appointment actions with the Conversation AI in Go High Level. Now, these small actions are gonna be a key to improving user experience and making sure that the bot is most optimized to work inside your business. So I'm just gonna head over to my sub account here and I'm under settings and under Conversation AI right now. And you'll see we have Configure Intense option here. So if you click on that, you'll see a heading called Appointment Booking. And if you enable it, we have a few options here. So the number one thing we have here is picking a calendar. Now, of course, we're talking about booking appointments inside a calendar here. So we need to map the Conversation AI bot to a calendar. Now, you don't have to do this setting right here. You can also do this inside the workflows if you're using Conversation AI that way. So it's totally up to you. I want to make this a global setting. So I'm going to select HWAC sales right here. And then we have three more options. So number one is don't book appointment. So if you only want to send the booking link and you don't want the bot to book the appointment itself, you can enable this option. It's pretty straightforward. And then the next and important option we have here is pause bot responses after booking. Now, if you want to make sure that once a bot has booked an appointment, you want to pause the bot because your lead has already booked and that was your objective. So you don't want to bother them. Or if they have some questions, you don't want the bot to answer, then you can enable this option. Now, let's take a use case. I have a chat here between a lead and the conversation AI bot here. So this is about an HVAC business. They sent a message here saying hello. The conversation AI replied back, hey, thanks for reaching out. And then they said, I'm looking to book a visit. So it asked them their name and then it basically asked them some more questions. And then eventually when they asked that, do you have any slots for Wednesday? Now at this point, it's waiting for the customer to confirm a slot and then it will book an appointment. I haven't done that now. This is my other number. I'm just doing it for testing. So now let's say if I go back here and I enable this option and let's say I keep it two days. Now if the bot books the appointment, this setting will effectively come in and it will pause the bot for the next two days. So if the lead text is gained, it will not come into action. So this is the first setting that you can dial in. And then we have another option, which is trigger workflow after booking. Now let's say the bot booked the appointment. We have this setting dialed in. And for example, we want to add the lead to a workflow, which could be bot booked appointment, notify team. And you can add multiple workflows here. But the use case really is that once the appointment is booked by the bot, if you want to add the lead to certain workflows, you can do that here. And in this example, the workflow I'm using is to notify the team that the appointment has been booked by the bot. So let's say the settings are dialed in. If we save this right here, and now I'll go back to the conversation that we had going on here. We'll book the appointment and see how these settings come into play. So I'm just going to open the contact view here. And under automation, you can see this person is only added to one workflow. So if the appointment is booked, we have to check that if they got added to that new workflow that we added once the appointment is booked. So I'm just going to go ahead and reply back with a time slot that works for me. And the bot will now confirm the appointment. So you can see here that the text has arrived. And then it says, let's book you for 1030 on Wednesday. And I will just reply back with, yep, yeah, that sounds good. And then in a few seconds, the bot should book the appointment. Now, if I do a quick refresh here, you will see that they have now been added to the other workflow as well. It just went to pass right away since I didn't have a wait step in that. But essentially, you can see now that how these settings come into play. And if you have them dialed in, not only you can add them to different workflows, but now it should have put the bot in sleep mode for two days because that is the setting we dialed in. And in order to test if the bot actually went to sleep, I sent a couple of texts after we had booked the appointment. And now you can see the bot is not responding since it is in sleep mode now as per the setting that we had here. And that is how you can leverage these settings to improve the user experience and make sure that you optimize your conversation AI bot in Go High Level. That was about this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you.